Hey folks, this one is a macro video of the Benchmade 710 ND2. Um, let's just, I'll show you a close up video of it here, but I'm shooting in my, with my Canon 5D Mark II with the Canon 100mm macro lens 2.8. If you have any questions about that, so here's the knife basically. I can't zoom in on it, but here's the uh, macro view from about uh, two to three feet away. I'll pick it up and show you the inner details here. Every time I move it I need to focus it again. But uh, that's kind of it. Let me see if I can get some better light on it. Change out the ISO here. Okay, minor lining adjustment there. So uh, here's a close-up view. Standard access lock, of course. And a little jumping up top, down and bottom. You can see the uh, bronze bushings in there. Uh, blade. Again in D2. I have used this one so you can see some sticky stuff on it. Just haven't cleaned it yet. It has been sharpened by me. Use the Spyderco Sharp Maker. And um, I've used the diamond sticks on it. Ultra fine, basically about all the rods. <clears throat> Reprofiled to what I believe to be uh, 20 degrees per side. Factory is 30 per side, per side, which I recently found out, and that I think that explains a lot about Benchmade for me. But uh, I could do a little bit better sharpening, but it is pretty good right now. Um, Nothing that interesting to see about the steel. It is D2. You need to take care of it a little bit more. It might mean just wiping it down further. Um, get some. Make sure you remove any kind of fingerprints and water before you store it or use it, that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to necessarily go out of my way too much on this knife to take care of it. Meaning I take care of all my knives and. We'll typically wipe them down and clean them up. Don't have them exposed to water for too long. So you can see the logo there in D2 Steel. It's the designer's logo, McHenry and Williams. Okay. Still not the sharpest knife I own, but uh, that can be fixed with a little bit of time and tools. But I'm still going to say that so far, despite any kind of sharpness issues, this one is a pretty good knife. Pretty neat uh, recurve there. These lighter areas on the blade, if you can see it, those are some areas that potentially could use a little bit more sharpening or any kind of um, non-uniform areas. So I don't know if there's much more to see macro-wise. It's pretty straightforward. Um, Whenever I say that, I always think of one more thing, but I don't know if the light will do it here, but uh, skeletonized liners. You can kind of see it back here. Closed back design. Yeah, not enough light to see the full skeletonization pocket clip exchange. 
you can see the wear on it uh, already just from very limited weekend carry. So that's the macro view. Just something fun here. Something to leave you with. There's lunch shot at uh, 3.2 ISO 320. Yummy. I'll give you another view here. You'll probably never want to eat meat or spaghetti again after seeing this, but uh, that's an up-close meatball. Anywho, later.